The use of a bowel management system is cost effective and clinically recommended for patients who have little or no bowel control and liquid or semi-liquid stools. The GB UK bowel management system helps in the containment of liquid faeces, maintenance or healing of skin integrity and fluid balance maintenance. The benefits of a bowel management system include less use of linens, less nursing time requirements, fewer patient complications including skin breakdown and infection, as well as faecal contamination of wounds and risk of spread of infection to other patients. The employment of the GB UK bowel management system is an essential part of the management of immobile patients with liquid or semi-liquid stools. Patients who may benefit from the use of a bowel management system include unconscious patients with uncontrolled faecal discharge, Digestive enzymes increase the permeability of the skin and increase erosion, causing skin ulceration and presenting with erythema, edema, weeping denuded skin and pain. Acutely ill patients at risk of faecal incontinence due to medication. Patients who are at risk of pressure ulcers due to faecal and urinary incontinence. And patients with C. difficile infections. The use of a bowel management system reduces the risk of hospital acquired infections in others. The GB UK bowel management system is suitable for patients with loose or watery stools, Bristol scale 6 to 7, and patients with little or no bowel control. It is contraindicated for patients with constipation, severe hemorrhoids, rectal anal injury, rectal anal stricture or stenosis, patients with an indwelling rectal device such as a thermometer or enema, those with suspected or confirmed rectal anal tumour or mucosal breaks, patients having recently undergone rectal surgery or anal or sphincter reconstruction within the past year, patients who have compromised rectal wall integrity, for example, those with ischemic prostatitis or mucosal ulcerations, those whose distal rectum cannot accommodate the inflated retention cuff or if the distal rectum anal canal is severely restricted, for example, a tumour, relapse, inflammatory condition, radiation injury or scarring, or patients who are sensitive to its materials, the device is made from non-latex silicone and is PVC free. Inside the single-use GBUK bowel management system are a collection bag, a silicon catheter, a Lua Lock 60ml syringe, and instructions for use with a pictorial step-by-step -step user guide. The collection bag has a large 1,200 millilitre capacity and has dignity covering so contents can remain discreet. With a polymer gel to solidify contents there should be no spillages. It is easy to keep clean and contained and easier to dispose of contents using the local policy. The collection bag has two hanging straps carbon filters to reduce odour and the bag has a secure two-point bayonet fitting to connect to the catheter. A sampling port close to the bag for ease of use and uses a Lua slip syringe. The balloon port is a white inflation port which should be filled with 45 millilitres of water. The blue irrigation port is suitable for assisting to clear blockages or carrying out rectal washouts. The use of an applicator is more hygienic, avoids contamination and offers optimal placement. The balloon is completely contained and protected within the applicator. Once inflated, the balloon is soft and conforms to the shape of the rectum. The balloon, once inflated, is a donut shape, smooth and pliable. For insertion, you will need lubricant for the insertion of the bowel management system, a gallipot and water for the balloon inflation, gloves and aprons, under pads to keep the bedding clean, and cleansing solution and wipes. Once the patient has been assessed as suitable, describe to the patient and family members what the aims of bowel management are. An enema should be performed to clear the rectum prior to placement. Analgesia may be prescribed. 
allows sufficient time for this to work. Also possibly a local anaesthetic gel, such as lidocaine gel. Sedation may be prescribed. Tell the patient and their family the optimal position for placement. Patient left lateral position, upper knee slightly flexed. The patient's skin should be cleansed with an appropriate skin balancing solution. To insert the GBUK bowel management system. First position the patient in left lateral position with the upper knee slightly flexed. Then carry out a digital examination of the rectum with lubrication, looking for fissures, large hemorrhoids, constipation, unexpected masses and rectal tone. Remove all items from the packaging. Unravel the catheter along the length of the bed and connect it to the collection bag. Pre-fill the syringe with 45 millilitres of water. Remove the protective sheath from the applicator. This is very important. Generously lubricate the applicator. The applicator houses the balloon for easier, more comfortable insertion. Insert the applicator to the thick black line. Push the end of the applicator until it is flush with the outer tubing. This allows the balloon to be released. Using the syringe, inflate the balloon to the specified 45 millilitres. Remove the syringe to prevent deflation of the balloon. Pull back the applicator. Slide it down the catheter tubing about 20 centimeters until the bowel management system catheter is clearly visible. The black line will be outside the body. Then gently pull the applicator from the catheter along its slit. With a gentle pull, check the security of the device. Lay the catheter between the patient's legs. Attach the bag to the bedside. Position the bag as low as possible to aid drainage. The bowel management system can be indwelling for 29 days. Bag replacement checks should be made at least every eight hours. Irrigation should be performed via the blue irrigation port every 12 hours. To irrigate, fill a syringe with 60 ml of water, connect to the blue irrigation port and slowly infused. To aid irrigation and clearance, the sheath can be milked. Check the position of the black line of the catheter, which should remain outside the patient. Ensure the tube is not obstructed by the body or twisted.
check skin integrity around the insertion site. The sampling port can be used with a Lewis slip syringe. Patients should be continually monitored for suitability. There is a maintenance checklist that can be used as a guide for daily care. The system should be changed at 29 days or removed. Check criteria for removal regularly. For example, a patient may be ambulatory or have firm stools. To remove the bowel meningeum system, you will need to follow the following steps. Inform the patient and family members the criteria for removal. Assemble suitable equipment. Keep bedding clean, cleansing solution and wipes, lubricant and a 60ml syringe to hand. Position the patient in the left lateral position if possible. Irrigation should be performed prior to removal to clear the catheter. Lubricate the patient's anus. Gloves and aprons and a 60ml syringe to deflate the balloon will be required. Once deflated, gently pull the catheter out. Additional support materials are available from the GB UK website, your local representative, or by following the links at the end of the video. These include a pre-insertion checklist, a maintenance checklist and a competency checklist for training. The GB UK bowel management system is suitable for the management of patients who are immobile and have loose or very loose stools. Expected outcomes are at all times maintaining the patient's dignity and the containment of liquid faeces, maintenance of or healing in skin integrity and maintenance of fluid balance.